What up family, it's Kefre with another interesting topic, which is that of voodoo. Most people have a misconception of what voodoo really is, and because of that, they don't realize that everyone with a culture or a religion practices it in some way, shape, or form. Welcome to Back to the Basics, where you learn facts, hope you embrace it. Watch like shit, bring in awareness. Watch like shit, bring in awareness. I'm fearless. Welcome to Back to the Basics, where you learn facts, hope you embrace it. Watch like shit, bring in awareness. Watch like shit, bring. So, what is voodoo really? Since most people get their knowledge that they love to accept without personal research or investigation from a Eurocentric perspective about other people's culture, let me first tell you what they think voodoo is. According to their dictionaries, they state that voodoo is a form of religious witchcraft of African origin, practiced in the West Indies and the Southern United States, involving some form of sorcery. Now, a close look at the word sorcery, you will find that it means witchcraft, magic, and enchantment from the medieval Latin word sortierius, which means a teller of fortunes by the casting of lots or stones. From this definition, you should be able to reason that sorcery has nothing to do with African customs, for Europeans use stones and runes, and the Bible refers to the stone casting of the high priest of Israel as the Urim and Thummim. Exodus 28.30 This is none other than the tarot cards so widely used by Europeans today. Now that you got the European perspective, let me give you what the word voodoo means from an African perspective, considering it comes from Africa. Right? The word voodoo comes from the African word fawn, related to the U language. Vu is said to mean self-examination or introspection, and do is said to mean unknown. Voodoo is also said to mean spirit. It is also called voodoo in Haiti, Candoba in Brazil, Lukumi and Santaria in Cuba, Obia, Kumina or Pocamania in Jamaica, Shango in Trinidad and Tobago, as well as Grenada. In these cultures, they have their own priests where only Nubians can join, no other race. So this ancient African practice called voodoo stems from ancestral acknowledgement. That is why no other race can join because it's based on the African ancestors, okay? Which is the same thing as Christians conjuring spirits in the church under the title Holy Ghost for they seek apparitions by praying to saints for help. The Muslims also have the same practice at shrines and the kupas, where they give prayers to saints and noblemen. The Khalifa, and even in Medina during the pilgrimage, Muslims go to the supposed tomb of Muhammad and give praise and prayers to him. So, ancestral worship will be as simple as visiting a dead relative at a graveyard and praying and putting down flowers as an offering. This is also very widely practiced amongst the Orientals, Buddhists, and the Indians in Hinduism. So as you can see, ancestral worship or acknowledgement is common in all religions and all cultures, and witches or Wicca do the same thing. Now, what many don't know is that there are good and bad witches, as there are good and bad voodoo, as there are good and bad priests, ministers, imams, and rabbis. So by blatantly calling voodoo witchcraft and sorcery is a misconception and a downright attempt to mislead any who link themselves to a spiritual school, custom, or practice that acknowledges and have respect for the past, as in our past ancestors who have translated to higher states of existence. If you look around, you'll notice that all practice some form of ancestral acknowledgement. For example, the respect of Elijah Muhammad in the Nation of Islam is a form of ancestral acknowledgement. The respect of Noble Drew Ali in the Morris Science Temple. The respect of Martin Luther King Jr. in the Christian faith. The respect for Clarence 13X in the 5% Nation. And the acknowledgement of the past dead presidents, kings, sultans, queens, emperors, and the likes. So you see, all practice ancestral acknowledgement in some shape or form. However, through the evil one's media, voodoo has been given a negative connotation because as usual, its roots are found in Africa. Whereas the Druids of Europe and the shamans of Russia would be the exact same thing in another language. 
Voodoo is simply the calling on of ancient ancestors for guidance and power, and it is a very widespread practice amongst African tribes world over. That's all. I'm Kef Ray, and this is Back to the Basic. Like, share, and subscribe. Facts we stated, you wanna know something, go back to basics Most saw a trap and was called the matrix The world frivolized, yet it's hard to face it So I spread truth, hope you embrace it